code, company, category, and country. Every record has a code, some sort of unique identifier. Generally, these systems create their own code, their own unique ID. But you've got a code. Your SAP system creates a code, or whatever your Oracle database creates a code. A customer number, a unique ID, some sort of numbering system within a database that identifies that record. I have a code, therefore I am, I exist as a record. Are they unduplicated? We'll get to that later. Then you need to know what that thing belongs to. You need a company, some sort of parent-child relationship, a hierarchy. Ship to, build to, plan to, sell to. Whatever those levels are that you work at, you need a hierarchical structure. Difficult to manage, especially for global companies. If I'm calling on this oval, do I know it's related to that one? People run into trouble, right? This is bad debt, but I still sit a sell this guy over here. That's a problem. Every code needs to belong to something, and that's the company. Who owns this thing? Then you need a category. What kind of thing is this? What kind of vertical is it? What kind of segment is it? Category drives segmentation. It drives market penetration. It drives market share analysis. Targeting, like, all right, I'm really good with this kind of company. I want to call on more of that kind of company. Let me find them. And if you, category's got all sorts of granularity, too. You've got trade channels and sectors. And that's a good way to figure out how good somebody's data is. Look at what categories they have. Every one of them has a category called other. <laughs> and underneath that is other, other. Okay, and they'll be embarrassed about it, and you'll have people defend it. That's why you want to get to those folks in pain. Who, yeah, a salesperson puts miscellaneous on there. The only database we looked at that didn't have other had a code that said DK, and we asked them what that meant, and it said don't know. <laughs> So you have to have some sort of standardized category structure on that data too. Some kind of common taxonomy to understand what kind of thing you're dealing with. And then just because they all start with C, you need a country or some form of geography. A lot of different definitions with geography that can confuse people. Media markets, market or measurement markets, sales market. There's all kinds of geographical definitions. Dates, provinces, zip codes, postal codes, lots of different configurations of geography. So if you can establish, again, those four C's, really simple, code, company, category, country, a lot of data problems go away. You know where everything is, you know what kind of thing it is, you know who owns it, and you know it's unique. You can boil down the core master data about things to its atomic elements.